quick video about pressure sensors because I've discovered something that other people may find helpful when using this type of sensor. Back during the lockdown period I started a dream project of mine to develop a wave power device prototype and for that I needed some pressure sensors. So I got this one first off eBay which appeared to be absolutely perfect for the project. It puts out 0 to 5 volts, ideal for an Arduino and it has a pressure rating of 1.45 psi or 10 kilopascals. But as time went on and I wanted a second one, they became increasingly expensive and difficult to find, especially from UK sellers. I can only think the craze for creating ventilators back in April has taken up most of the supply and I did look on other websites and they said the stock wouldn't be back in until January next year. So I had another look around on eBay and I discovered this one here at the top was around half the price. Um, it unfortunately had a higher pressure rating of 7.25 psi or 50 kilopascals. It um, also said on the description that the voltage output at full range was 60 millivolts. It seemed rather small, but I ordered it up anyway, so it was around half the price, £11 instead of 20 which I paid for this other one. And when it arrived, it did indeed have a very small voltage output. But for the power meter project that I'm also doing at the moment, I've been experimenting with amplifiers and ADCs so I thought well why not connect up one of these boards here which has an HX711 chip on it and those things are specifically designed for measuring the voltage output from strain gauges and I believe these things do indeed have strain gauges inside them so I connected it up and you have to connect it to channel B because this thing has a voltage range, a maximum voltage range of plus or minus 80 millivolts when you use channel B. Um, if you use channel A, you get a higher um, resolution um, and a smaller voltage range. So I'll show you on the computer the output from these two. I'll connect them up to the same tube and same pressure. So this one here is connected directly to the Arduino's ADC through here and this one is connected up to the HX711 ADC and that's then communicating with the Arduino. I've got these to approximately equal each other um, using some calculations and software. So in blue we have the pressure sensor with the higher pressure rating going by the HX711 and I'm actually dividing that by a thousand so throwing away quite a lot of its resolution but it results in it being fairly low noise um, and in green is the sensor with the lower pressure rating being read by the Arduino's ADC and I'm multiplying that by 2.7 so you can see it's actually got um, significantly lower resolution um, and if I blow gently very gently you can see just it picks up pretty low pressures um, and if I zoom out you can see the other benefit of the HX711 is it's not limited um, like the Arduino's ADC because it can only read obviously between 0 and 5 volts and um, so generally I'm uh, very pleased with that result and hope that someone else can find this useful thank you for watching